the recording. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, it really really does mean a lot to me and if you guys are new then I just want to say hey, welcome to this channel and if you like these videos then please subscribe and join the family, I'd love to have you come along with us. This week's video is a hair tutorial which is a fishtail braid or a plait, whatever you guys call it, where you guys are from, so if you guys would like to see how I created this look then keep watching the video. Okay guys, so what you want to start off by doing is you want to take your brush or I'm taking Tangle Teaser, this is by the brand Meta, I got this from Farmers for about $10 I think and these are just really good to brush through your hair if you've got lots of tangles or if you've got wet hair. I'm just going to brush through your hair. My hair has been freshly washed today so it's not like a day old or two day old hair. Um, I don't really think it makes a difference to the overall fishtail, but I just washed mine this morning. It's all silky smooth. What you want to do is just part your hair how you normally part your hair. I'm going to do my fishtail on the side because I generally wear mine on the side. I generally wear my fishtails at the back, but if you want to wear your fishtail at the back, then you can just do this whole process just at the back of your head. I'm going to bring my hair over to my chosen side, which is this side because I've parted my hair on the left. And you just want to split your hair into two even sections. So something similar to that. And then what you want to do is take a small section of this hair from this side. So this is from the left hand side. And you take it from the back or the side and cross it over to the right hand side. So like that and just let it hang then you want to do the same thing on the other side so taking a section from the back or the side and crossing it over to the left hand side and just let it hang it does get a little bit fiddly when you're starting it out so just keep that in mind so just repeat those steps going down your hair It depends how big the sections are that you want them, you can change them up, you can take big sections over to the other side, or you can take small sections, it just really depends what you fancy. You can do a mixture of both, or you can just do small ones or big ones. I personally do a mix, because I just think it gives the hair a little bit more texture. So once you get to something like this, it just gets really, really easy to just carry on down. So keep doing that all the way down to the end of your hair. The ideal length for this hairstyle is medium to long hair. So if you've got short hair, obviously it's going to be very, very hard to try and do this tutorial. Apologies if the lighting keeps changing, we're using different lighting, so it will be a little bit choppy and changey. So just, like I said, just keep going down to the end of your hair, just crossing them over as you do, like so. Once you get your, to your desired length, you can stop it and tie it up. Just use a little black hair tie. If you've got blonde hair, then use a blonde hair tie or a clear one. Just really what you've got on hand. And there you have your fish towel. You can either leave it like this if you decide to do so, or you can do what I do and pull small bits out of the side and pull small bits out of the side and pull out your plait as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. Personally, I prefer to do this than keep it tucked in together because I just feel like it gives you more volume in your hair. and then pulling little bits like this out. I do like to pull little bits out at the front as well. What you can do is what I do and just twist these little bits and just pin them back it's using a bobby pin. Maybe 
maybe two depending how many you need or three. And then what you can do is just bobby pin the other areas that you feel like you need. Fix up anything that you feel like you need to at the end. That guys is how you do a fishtail braid. Okay, so what you can do is if you want to leave your hair like this, and it is completely and utterly fine, but I'm going to show you how to dress this up a little bit. Starting off by using a bow hair tie or a really, really cute hair tie that you have on hand at the end. Tie that at the end of your hair. So that it ends up looking something like this. Next alternative, what you can do is just use a cute headband that you have. I have this one. I got this at a house or a $2 shop or something. Last thing you can do is use a flower crown like this. And just put that on the top. You can secure it if you need to at the back with bobby pins. Thank you guys heaps for watching this video. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys do recreate this hairstyle, then be sure to send me pictures and let me know in the comment box below that you guys have tried it. Let me know if this tutorial has been helpful in any way or if there's any other tutorials that you guys would like me to film, then please also leave them in the comment box below and I will be sure to film them for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!